Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look at the dollar versus Canada. It's uh, moving uh, sharply to the downside after breaking below some key support levels. I'm going to talk, to talk about it in this video, so let's get started. There are a couple things that uh, stick out uh, to me on this chart. One uh, is this uh, 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart. Uh, we did hold uh, support against it. This is uh, last Wednesday. This, that's the FOMC uh, day. Uh, and then on Thursday, we fell below it. It should have sent the price uh, sharply to the downside. It didn't. And uh, then the market moved more, uh, sharply to the upside. And what do we do? We came back down to that 100 bar moving average found support right here. In trading on Friday, the market again tried to break below the 100 bar moving average, failed, and then reestablished support against it right here. In the Asian session and trading here today or early European session, the price came down to the 100 bar moving average, found support. But the last thing the price did on the break to the upside was hold the resistance right here against the 100 and 200 hour moving averages. That seemed to be the, uh, the straw that uh, broke the camel's back uh, with this battle going on between buyers and, and sellers because the price fell then below the 100 bar moving average. Here on uh, the four hour chart came up, tested the level, and the last three hours we've seen uh, increased selling to the downside. Despite the fact that things like the uh, five year yield is up 5.2 basis points and the 10 year yield is up about the same amount. So the dollar versus Canada is moving lower, its yields move higher, and that's pushed the price down toward the 135 level. Uh, just uh, we're, and we're, we're trying to find uh, support against that level, but uh, still testing that level as we speak. Now uh, below or uh, near that 135 level is this level right here, 134.99. Let's call it 135. That level um, happens to correspond with a, 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 a cluster of uh, support buyers right through here uh, that, that broke through that level. Use that level as a resistance right here. Admittedly, the price moved above and below it here, but uh, did its best to try to stay below the level before moving to the upside, and then did its best to try to stay above the level through here before breaking again to the downside, failing, moving to the upside. This is the employment day in the U.S. Uh, that uh, causes volatility through here. Uh, so we are moving back down toward that level around the 135 level, and that's going to be the next key uh, barometer for both buyers and sellers. Get below it, increases the bearish bias, and we'll have traders looking down toward this level right here near the 134.65 level and break below that level and then we'll go toward the uh, August low that came in at the 134.39 level. Uh, if we do find support buyers against here, uh, we could see uh, you know the battle reestablish itself between the 100 bar moving average up here and the uh, this uh, 135 level on the downside. Uh, but I would expect that um, uh, there would be some apprehension to move higher especially with the momentum that we've seen to the downside in trading here today on the break. So there you have it, a technical look at the dollar versus Canada. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.